I'm Lynn Goldstein, a registered dietitian. Milk, it's just for kids, right? Absolutely, kids of any age. Dairy products are the most common source of calcium, a mineral most of us don't get enough of. Calcium is essential for building and maintaining healthy bones and teeth, no matter how old you are. To absorb calcium, you also need vitamin D. That's why a lot of milk products are fortified with vitamin D. In addition to calcium and vitamin D, milk is a good source of energy. That energy is in the form of a large sugar molecule called lactose. The body can't use that energy, though, until it breaks the lactose down during digestion, with the help of the enzyme lactase, into two smaller sugar molecules, glucose and galactose. When we don't produce enough lactase, then the lactose doesn't get digested properly. This is called lactose intolerance. Most people with lactose intolerance don't have to give up milk completely. You may be able to tolerate dairy products if you limit the amount you consume to no more than four ounces at a time, or choose foods that are easier to digest, yogurt and hard cheeses like cheddar and Swiss. There are also a number of over-the-counter products that can help, like lactase tablets that you take when you eat foods with lactose. You can also find lactose-free and lactose-reduced dairy products at the grocery store. These products have the same nutrients and other benefits as regular milk. It's important not to confuse lactose intolerance with a milk allergy, one of the most common food allergies in children. It's easy to understand how someone might mistake a milk allergy for lactose intolerance, or the other way around, since the two conditions share similar symptoms, like bloating and gas, abdominal cramps, and diarrhea. But they really are quite different in terms of causes and treatments. Symptoms of a milk allergy can appear immediately after consuming milk include wheezing, vomiting, hives, and those unpleasant digestive problems I just mentioned. A true food allergy, as opposed to lactose intolerance, can also cause a tingling mouth, a running nose, coughing, watery eyes, swelling of the lips, face, tongue, and throat, trouble breathing, and dizziness or fainting. If you are lactose intolerant, you can probably eat small amounts of lactose without a reaction. If you have a food allergy, however, eating even the smallest amount can trigger a serious allergic reaction. If you are able to consume dairy, you should know that along with all the great stuff in whole milk is something that you don't need, saturated fat. So choose non-fat and low-fat options whenever possible to avoid the artery-clogging saturated fat that's in fuller fat dairy products. After age two, even children benefit from switching to reduced fat milk. And by the way, one cup of whole milk has five grams of saturated fat. 2% milk has three grams, and 1% has two grams. Skim milk has less than two grams. Only fat-free milk has no saturated fat. So you really ought to switch to skim, or even better, fat-free. And here's a great tip. If you want something creamy to put in your coffee, try using condensed skim milk. It has less saturated fat than whole milk, but still gives your coffee a delicious, rich flavor. I encourage my patients to develop healthy eating habits by consuming plenty of nutrient-rich dairy products while making non-fat or skim milk your regular choice.